Welcome to the Marine Technology Center. I'm Michael Beamer, and I'm going to meet uh, my colleague Matt Martisic here in a few minutes. And he and I are going to talk a little bit about what happens at the Marine Technology Center in Hannah Portis, Washington. So a lot of people don't know who we are, where we are, what we do. So this is the purpose of the video. Anna Cordes is about 65 miles, basically north of Seattle in the state of Washington. Great area, we absolutely love it, maritime town. And we are right on the edges. We are actually are part of the San Juan Islands, which is the kind of the quintessential launching point uh, for the, the inside passage. So, here at this building, we have a lot that goes on. So this building houses Skagit Valley College, the Marine Maintenance Program, which is what Matt and I primarily do. This building is uh, the Northwest Career and Tech Academy. They are a high school skill center program. They have multiple programs running here at the center. They have uh, Marine uh, services, of course. They have an aerospace program. They have drone and underwater ROV programming, all for high school students. We have the Center of Excellence in Marine Manufacturing for the entire state of Washington. Um, those offices are always tied to a community college. We have one of those uh, in our building. And we also offer um, programming on the weekends for boat owners that's called Cruisers College. So a whole lot going on here, but uh, the idea is to give you a quick tour of just what Skagit Valley College Marine Maintenance is, because uh, that's what Matt and I do. So. Hey Matt, how's Mike, it going? how you doing today? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Hey everyone, I'm Matt Martisich. I'm the mechanical instructor here at uh, Skagit Valley College Marine Maintenance Technology. Sounds like Mike and I are going to give you guys a little tour today. Yeah. Show them what's going on. Absolutely. Let's it's go. A fun place. So. All right, Matt. So let's show off uh, our project area. Absolutely. This is kind of the, the hub where everything happens. The center heart of our building. It is. Uh huh. And so uh, what students see in here is a lot of things around wheels, mostly because of limited space. We, as our curriculum changes, we wheel things out, wheel sure. things in. Sure. We've got a project like the, the boat there that's getting its new outboard as part of your class. Absolutely. And uh, so it's a, it's a nice space and we've got classrooms over here. Yeah. And so maybe what is the day in life? What do students do with their time? Yeah, absolutely. So kind of just a, in a nutshell, what, how students kind of split their time here at Marine Tech. It's about half in lecture um, where we're training them in all sorts of standard based um, practices. Um, so we do teach ABYC, um, NEMA, NEMA, National Marine Electronics Association, um, in both our electrical and our, and our mechanics classes. Um, so students sort of get the knowledge and the theory in the classroom and then they come out into the lab areas and actually put it to practice. They, they, they get hands-on experience working on all our training aids. Um, lots of times, like you mentioned, we have actual bolt, boats in the facility. Yeah. Um, so they're getting, they're getting a lot of practice um, with their hands. And it's, it's a really great mix between sort of lecture and lab. Um, and as far as kind of uh, our student body goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I have a lot of, a lot of years of following these students through here. Sure. So our students are anywhere from young adults, you know, graduating high school or even running start. We have some before they graduate. Yeah. They're here. So they're looking to do a career. They're looking for those certifications you're talking about. They want to learn, you know, about the trades. And by the way, students don't need to know anything about boats when they come here. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, coming in as a, as come a in full as greenhorn, it's, it's awesome with us. That's, that's, that's how we do it. That's, yeah. We start from ground zero. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so those, those are the, you know, the bulk of our students. And then we've got military, uh -huh. you know, they put some years in and they've got that educational benefit and they are running through um, with us to, uh, to get whatever their next career is going to be. Sure, start their next career. Yeah. yeah. And in even a couple boat owners that, you know, just want to educate themselves on how to yeah. work on their own boats. Exactly. And, and that's yeah. always fun to have, you know, a couple, a couple in, in cruisers here in the mix. So um, fantastic yeah. mix of different students. It really, it really kind of works Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Uh -huh. so, um, 
Yeah, so maybe we should take a look in our in our yeah. actual shops and show them what goes on. Yeah, let's go show off the labs. All right, let's do it. Right on. Got a nice project right here. Absolutely. So tell me, Matt, what about we're gonna go to the propulsion lab? Yeah, so this is this is the propulsion lab over here. This is uh, my side of the world. Mm -hmm. That's where all the mechanical magic happens. I mean, as you can see, we have some beautiful engines we're passing right now as we come in. Yeah, um, and a few more. And a few more, and, and a heck of a lot more out back. Um, but yeah, basically what goes on here is uh, with our engines classes, um, we're teaching um, service on diesel and gas engines. Um, so everything external, everything that basically breaks down, right? So the manufacturers take care of the in engine internals. We don't really teach that stuff. We don't teach rebuilding. And, and these days out in the uh, maintenance field, we really, you know, aren't doing a lot of that kind of service. So it's all the externals, the stuff that goes bad. Notably, cooling systems, fuel systems, exhaust, right? Um, that whole salt water is going to keep that, us employed for a long time. That whole time. salt water will keep us employed uh, forever. So um, that's, that's kind of our main focus, and students really get a, a good um, sampling of different procedures they're going to do, as well as different types of engines they'll see. So we have a, a nice variety of um, common engines they're going to encounter out there in the field on boats. Um, so in addition to engines, uh, we also do drivetrain tra training. Um, you can see some propellers and shafts and stuff back there. We have a few training aids um, where students do drivetrain practice. So basically everything from the engine back, so transmission, couplings, shafts, bearings, shaft seals, um, propeller removal, propeller lap fitting, propeller in insulation, um, engine alignment's a huge one. We really stress that. Um, we feel like all of our students should leave here knowing how to do a proper engine alignment. Um, in addition to uh, steering and control systems, um, we have a hydraulics class uh, that, that covers hydraulic steering, hydraulic controls, as well as hydraulic systems. So full on, you know, crab pot pullers to um, uh, stabilizers, thrusters, any thrusters, you name it. Um, more and more hydraulics going on these recreational boats these days. So um, absolutely. Sounds like a lot of fun. You do uh, outboard motor components? We do. We do outboard motors, both uh, kind of smaller, like under 20 horsepower units. Um, students kind of get a good a good introduction to outboards there, um, rebuilding carburetors, cleaning carburetors, um, and then uh, also large outboards, um, right up to rigging outboards on boats. Um, we passed a couple boats on our so way in, yeah. right? So we're gonna we're gonna be putting a, a 200 on, on that one. And um, students just get a fantastic introduction to kind of all these different disciplines in the mechanical world. And um, from there, they can decide which, which road they like the most. Um, so ton of fun here, ton of fun. Lots of jobs out there. Ton, they're, Plenty of jobs, absolutely, absolutely. Excellent. All right, well, this is pretty exciting, but you know, my side of the world is a little bit more to do with the wiring and, 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 and yeah, the system, uh -huh. so let's go over to that shop and I'll show you what happens. Awesome, let's check it out. And over okay. here at the systems lab, this is, uh, you know, we can kind of build boats and make a move in your department, mm -hmm. but I think this is where the important stuff happens. And so, in here, same thing, we've got lots of bench space and lots of activities that go on, but we cover everything that's comfortable, I think, right? You gotta keep the cabin warm, you gotta have batteries to start your engine, you know, good electrical systems, you gotta keep the refrigerator cold, you know, all these comforts of home, and so that people expect out on their boats, that's what we do in systems world. Absolutely. And so, for example, Absolutely. they build boats right here, this is the start of a boat, that'll be completed in the next couple of quarters. Mm -hmm. And it covers everything from gauges and switches and DC distribution to it'll have a shore power hull inlet and shore power generator switches. We're inverters, gonna have full, inverters, yeah. Full nine yards. Everything, this Beautiful. is like a, electrically, this is an entire boat that rolls around. And they actually will borrow some of your diesel generators and they'll make their own electricity out in the parking lot. Excellent. Power them up. Excellent. Uh, we have, Lots of other systems similar to uh, your side where students have all their lab books and they go through and they have a gauge lab and they have an alternator lab over here they do and an inverter lab and we have all these stations. This is a water maker we just fired up and took down to the ocean. So we have a systems class which covers all of those kind of components. And as well as electronics over we, there. We do table. electronics, yeah. So we're uh, you know, part of the NMEA, the National Marine Electronics Association and we do two certificates through them similar to all the ABYC stuff that we talked about earlier. Right. Um, and so at the end of this first year of program coming through here as a systems technician, you potentially could have your electrical certification through ABYC and a couple of these NEMA certs. So they have a basic installer. We have a working bridge right here. 
uh, with all our antennas and equipment up on the roof. Uh -huh. And then we get into the NEMA 2000, so the new standard for networking and hooking equipment together. And students build their own working modules over here and awesome. hook them up in interface. So awesome. yeah, uh, electrical, what's what we, we love to do over here. Most everything that happens in this shop's got wires hooked to it. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty key. And at the end of a year, same thing, um, a student can leave with a certificate and they can head out and there's endless work to mm -hmm. just because boat owners are constantly upgrading their boats, replacing things that don't, you know, don't work, on and on. So it's a, it's pretty exciting area to be in. Absolutely, absolutely, and, and yeah. And, the, the, and as the new technology comes out, you know, and I'm always telling my mechanical students, hey, you know, they're kind of one and the same also, even though we do have the two different tracks, <laughs> you do need to kind of have a really good grasp right. on electrical and it, in, in order to be able to work on these new modern engines. Um, yeah. It used to not be that way. You used to be able to just turn a wrench and make an engine go. These days, you really need to understand the electrical and electronic components. And that's so. why we have our AS, our Applied Science degree for right. students, because if you do all of the programming here, both tracks, you're going to leave with a skill set to be on your way to being like a master technician. Absolutely. So you can fix all of it. Absolutely. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, I hope this video helped explain a little bit about what we do here at Skagit Valley College in the Marine Maintenance Program. If you want more, you can dive deep into our classes and curriculum and stuff. There's a link down below. Or if you just want to follow some cool projects and see what happens here, you can subscribe to our channel and you'll see some stuff happening every week that's fun. Absolutely. Thanks for watching.